So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Harmony to SmartThings. So if you notice, there's seven things currently connected. If I go into SmartThings Labs, you'll see the Smart App that was created on the Harmony side where you set up the Harmony integration. So go ahead and hit the little gear on the top corner of that little icon. So now you're going to select the Harmony Hub that you want to associate with SmartThings. Select the Harmony Hub and hit Next. This should be the same selection screen that you saw earlier when you set up your Harmony on the other side. So these are all the same switches that Harmony has access to. And now if you notice here, you have now eight, eight things. If you pull down to refresh, you'll see that Harmony is now added to your things. It may take a second for it to recognize that it's a Harmony hub. And you can rename it to get rid of that little blue icon. So hit go ahead and hit preferences. You can rename the hub if you want. And that's it. Now you have a Harmony device that you can use with other smart apps. So go, let's go ahead and configure those smart apps now. So go ahead and hit the plus sign on the very bottom of the screen. And go ahead and search for Harmony. And you'll find a trigger smart app. This trigger Harmony activity smart app allows you to trigger your Harmony activities using any of your other devices. So let's go ahead and set that up now. We're going to start by selecting the Harmony Hub that we want to use. Hit Next. And then what triggers we want to use. So in this case, I'm going to use my door sensors. I'm going to hit Contact Opens and then select the contact sensors I want to use. And then select the activity that you want to use when this contact sensor opens. And if you have any time boundaries that you want to set on this, you can do that at the next screen. And that's it. Now go ahead and test that out. So every time you open up your contact sensor, you should be able to launch your activity. You may want to do a subsequent one where you close the contact sensor and it turns off the activity. That concludes the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.